At a time when we can see very clearly how journalists in other countries are being imprisoned for doing their job, um, are having their uh, investigations sabotaged, it's very, very worrying to hear in the, about the National Security Bill uh, a minister saying that it is very unlikely that real journalists will be caught out by. It's very unlikely. Um, Andrew Sharp. Andrew Sharp said it's, it's almost inconceivable that genuine journalism will be caught within the threshold for criminal activity. But it's that word, almost, which is the problem. I mean, there's a lot of mileage in the word almost. So he admits, in other words, that it is possible that genuine journalism will be caught out by this extraordinary law which is being put out. The extraordinary law. And the law, um, you know, the law isn't good. It, it's not good when journalists suggest that, um, or when politicians suggest that journalists' freedom should be curtailed. Either journalists are trusted to do their job uh, or they're not. And if they're not, then we live in a sort of police state. George Orwell famously said that journalism is printing what someone else doesn't want us to see. And that sounds like a very good starting point. There are journalistic ethics. And I, I remember some years ago I did a, I, I did a series of talks in a Russian university about journalistic ethics. They didn't take me very seriously because they then ended up dubbing my voice over uh, 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 saying things which I'd never said. Um, but, but there are such things as journalistic ethics and we need to pay attention to them. But equally, there are things um, uh, as um, political ethics. And I think when a government is involved when the Treasury is involved in helping uh, Prigozhin to attack a British journalist in London as using very dodgy um, uh, people, uh, people to do that, uh, when Russian oligarchs have um, bankrolled Conservative MPs, when the amount of dark money that seems to be flowing uh, around Britain uh, cannot be assessed and cannot be controlled um, when we've got so much secrecy involved in um, uh, in in the UK to hide the um, dodgy goings on of the elite. Well, then I think it's particularly important that journalists can do their job. So we need we need to look out for. Uh, what this law is going to contain, because uh, clearly, uh, as well, it was put forward by one of the most um, uh, casual and um, oh, one of the most casual ministers in existence. Uh, this is a law which was defined by Nadine Dorries. Defined by Nadine Dorries. It's, al it's almost an oxymoron, isn't it? But... Um, but she, but she is behind this law, and that should worry us all.